It was a household filled with lots of laughter and smiles. Five little girls make this house complete. It is never boring here. <laughs> There's always something going on. But there was never anything quite like this. They weren't eating, barely drinking. Um, they were sick for about two weeks. So I took them into urgent care and I had them checked out for RSV, flu and COVID. And it came back that they, my three youngest had um, RSV. Carmen Bree Miller says while well, two of her children seem to get better, her youngest daughter, Kinsley, only got worse. Bree Miller took the one-year-old back to the doctor for more tests and says that's when things took a turn for the worse. She ended up on full oxygen and it still was barely coming up. So that's when they sent us by ambulance to Children's. Bree Miller says her daughter was put on a ventilator in the ICU for two and a half weeks, which kept both mom and Kinsley away from home. She was on breathing treatments every four hours through the ventilator. Um, she ended up getting a blood clot while she was there. She had a blood transfusion and she had a bronoscopy. Bree Miller says she heard about RSV before. Her own sister's children had it, but she's never seen it like this and never thought it would happen to them. It was terrifying. You know, nothing could have really prepared us to go through that and watching her go through that. And her family isn't alone. Chief Medical Officer at Oshai Children's Hospital, Stephen Turkovich, says RSV cases are on the rise here in western New York. Uh, since Halloween, we had 140 kids test positive for the flu. Uh, we've had 230 kids test positive for RSV, and those numbers are both going up. Uh, both of those are causing a significant number of admissions to the hospital, overwhelming our pediatric ICU and our floors. Uh, we've opened up 43 additional beds for med surge patients, which is equivalent to about two new floors. Uh, worth the patients. Bree Miller says Kinsley has recovered enough to return home, but a long road of recovery still lies ahead. I do get kind of nervous. Um, any little noise she makes that isn't normal, I'm like checking on her all paranoid, but she's been doing really good so far. She says now their family can finally be complete once again. I was like so happy, you know, that she's able to be home and her sisters are happy she's home. and. Bree Miller says Kinsley is still taking several medications and a nurse comes by their house to check in on her progress. The family has also started a GoFundMe page to help cover certain costs. We have a link to that page and more information about RSV on our website at WKBW.com. Live in studio, I'm Sydney or 7 News.